Hey everybody, how you doing? This is not going to be a really fun video. And I very rarely say that. Uh, but, today started out as one of the best days of all time. Uh, you guys watch a show, uh, I've got a new episode every day. And you guys, I feel like you know me pretty good. Literally, literally the entire year... Is built around catching whitetail, as big ones as we can, and as many as we can. Uh, I get tickled to get does almost as much as I get tickled to get bucks. I've been watching a buck all summer. I named him Wide Boy, one of the widest, the widest whitetail I've ever seen. With my own eyeballs. Also the tallest whitetail I've ever seen with my own eyeballs. Uh, watched him grow all summer. Tried to hunt him during uh, velvet. Tennessee has a, a, a velvet season in August now. He didn't show up. Um, I'm not going to show you. I've got so many HD pictures and videos of this deer. I'm not going to show you because... Uh, this property I have permission to hunt. There might be neighbors and people in that town trying to hunt him too. And you know, I can't be showing people my secret big monster deer. But I am going to show you the footage. It's kind of grainy. It was 15 minutes after first light this morning. Uh, and my camera's not good in low light. Uh, that's one of the things that I needed to, to get next is a, a, a big money camera that's good in low light for situations like this for deer hunting. Uh... Had him at 10 yards. 10 yards broadside. It kind of caught me off guard because normally I see him on the trail cameras. When he comes in, he comes in for one way. Well, he came in from the opposite way. It's archery season. We can use crossbows in Tennessee. I have my crossbow already cocked, ready to go. Uh, loaded with these right here. Three-inch schwackers. Every deer we have taken with these, this is not some kind of sponsored nonsense deal. I bought these. Um, every deer I've hit with one of these has gone down inside 20 yards. Very confident in these. Three inch Schwacker crossbow 251s. I've probably taken, well, uh, I know I've taken between me and my kids four or five deer with these Schwackers. They don't go anywhere. Uh, they're three inches. Wow! You're down. And the crossbows I got are nice 10 point. It goes over 400 feet per second. Uh, as soon as you break that trigger, whack! Uh, you guys watch the show, saw me get it a fall turkey with the same crossbow. Uh, I take a lot of pride in not missing. I don't miss, you know. I didn't miss today, but back to the story. I had this monster buck wide boy. Again, I'm not going to show you the HD photos and video uh, until maybe after deer season. Um, but I had him at 10 yards, perfect broadside. I should have just popped him. Uh, instead, I started fiddling with the cameras. I had a camera up here looking down on me. Come to find out, all that footage is too dark. Like I said, it's, it's like 15 minutes after first light. Uh... Then I got the camera, I had it on an arm, screwed into a tree here, a little pivot arm, got it, and I waited for him to start walking further away. The, the dude was inside 10 yards, below, below me so close that I couldn't even get the camera on him. Then he started, sure enough, perfect, couldn't have played it any better. Walking out, here we go, I can see him on the camera right here, camera's rolling on me, I hit record. Pop! I know I hit him. I don't miss. Uh, but it didn't have that typical whack when you hit him with those super fast crossbows. But I know I hit him. So, I watched the footage over and over and over on the camera. Yes, absolutely hit him. Slightly higher than I would have liked it to be. Uh, but that arrow... Hit that monster deer. Let me show you the footage right here. I'll, I'll just 
roll it over a couple times, a couple in slow motion so you can see it. smoked that deer uh what time is it right now i just got back home i looked i waited first of all i waited an hour uh monster buck didn't want to bump him probably th the best scoring whitetail i've ever gotten in my life not probably that would have been the best scoring whitetail i ever got in my life oh i'm still shaking um i thought for sure that deer is going to be, like I said, 20, 30 yards. Um, I'm going to call everybody I know, send everybody pictures. I'm already thinking all the people I'm going to send pictures of this deer to. Well, like I said, I waited an hour. Look at the footage. It's pretty obvious where he was standing. Don't find an arrow. Almost always those super fast 10 points laser right through the deer. Even if you hit bone, right through them. No arrow. But that deer ran off with the arrow in him. Um, not a lick of blood. Not a single drop of blood anywhere. Not a single drop. Then I thought, well, I know I hit that deer. I, I watched the footage over and over a hundred times. I know that arrow hit that deer. Had to have hit him in the lung. Especially at the angle up, going down. Uh, I said, you know what? I'm just going to make a grid. Uh, so I did. I turned on Onyx. I don't know if you guys have you ever used Onyx. I use Onyx and Huntstand. I've got subscriptions to both of them. Both of them have certain things that I like better in each one of them. But turned on the tracking on Onyx, and I just started walking. The deer ran this way. Circle, 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 circle. And I ended up making a huge grid looking for this buck. Um, on the tracker, um, and, and, uh, and this is going up gullies, down gullies, up mountains, down hiking, uh, some, some steep stuff, you know, first you think, oh, a deer's going to go downhill or a deer's going to go to water. So I checked those first, the creek beds, uh, where the water runs off, go downhill then I said, it's going to go to the nasty stuff. So I checked all the thick stuff. The thickest briars. And I made a grid. On Onyx, it, it tracks where you're going. Walk, 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 walk. Walked over four miles. Um, really slowly. So four miles really slow. I did that for almost, uh, almost four hours. I looked for that deer this morning. Made a big grid. Um, uh, did everything within my power to try to find that deer. I'm going to turn the comments off on this video just because I, I can't do it today, guys. Uh, you're going to comment, oh, get a drone guy. You're going to comment, oh, get a guy with dogs. You're going to comment, uh, look for the buzzards. Uh, I've done everything within my power to try to find that deer with what I'm able to do. Um. Uh, I even drove around the area um, looking for buzzards. I did see some buzzards, uh, but they ended up continuing on and going further away. And 
Um, a couple times I even smelled, I thought I smelled a dead deer. Um, if you know what a dead deer smells like, then you know what I'm saying. Um, and that got my heart racing, got me excited, but then I found nothing. Um, I bumped a bunch of deer looking for this buck. Uh, all those, those and fawns. Uh, but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to ramble on about it anymore. Uh, like I said, I've done everything within my power, everything that I'm able to do to look for that deer. Um, I couldn't find it. It's a good one. Uh, appreciate y'all watching. Um, uh, stay tuned. I got a whole lot more hunting videos coming. I got a bunch of trips planned. We're going to be all over the place. I got an elk tag, uh, antelope tag, out of state whitetail tags, um, that I'm excited about. Uh, but this deer was special. Uh, I got, first got permission to hunt this piece of property. I, I got a hold of the owner. I got his phone number and I said, Hey, I film a show and we do deer hunting. And sometimes I take my kids. Would you care if we hunt? And he said, I don't care what you do. Absolutely go for it. Um, uh, and that's kind of been a, uh, a special place to hunt. And that's the biggest deer I've ever seen with my eyeballs. But, um, yeah, probably going to give that property a break for quite a while. Maybe that deer will come back and I'll get him on the camera. Um, uh, I even made phone calls to people and said, you know, keep your eyes out for buzzards and whatever. Some people I trust where this is at. Um, maybe somebody will give me a phone call, but it's not looking good. Um. Uh, Hunting season here is here, and I'm going to try to do a bunch of hunting, but I'm real down today. Uh, I'm going to take a break for a while. Not from videos. I'm going to go to the range and whatever. Uh, but I'm mopey and I'm pouting today because I literally smoked the biggest deer I've ever seen in my life, and I couldn't find them. Um, this video gets no views. I'll take it down or whatever, but. Uh, you guys know I make real videos, and I just bring you along with whatever I'm doing. And that's what happened today, and I hate it. Uh, the only deer that I've ever missed in my whole life was two does that we tried to take with subsonic 350 Legend ammo, and I will never do that again. Uh, I learned my lesson on that, but crossbows, I've never, ever lost a deer. Much less the biggest deer I've ever seen in my life. But now I'm 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 ranting and raving for way too long. Appreciate y'all. Um, stay tuned for more. I got a bunch bunch of videos coming out. Um, I stayed up all night last night organizing things and getting things ready for some videos coming out soon. Uh, also because I didn't want to oversleep this morning because I was going deer hunting, so I stayed up all night working. Um, hey guys. We'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to check out hootiehoo.com. Appreciate y'all. Hootiehoo.